It's all about entrepreneurs, so this must be radio entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the host of the show, also chairman of the board of Mage LLC, management consulting firm. Uh, being hosted at our friends over at the social scene. Uh, I am all excited about the social scene, but also more excited about my guest host for this segment, Peter Morrison from the law firm of Cohn, Rasnick, Morrison, and Plout. John Plout, that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be here, Jeff. It's, uh, it's always exciting to be working with you. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot, Peter. I appreciate it. Uh, our next guest, uh, an entrepreneur, first timer on the show, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see how well I do. Rakibu Ura Jobo uh, of iNerd. Yep. And you're chief of nerdy operations. That's correct. Uh, thank you for having me, Jeff. And uh, thank you, Peter, for the opportunity. Um, yeah, you got my name right. It's Rakibu Urojobo, and yep. I'm a chief of nerdy operation at iNerd. So tell us about iNerd. Um, iNerd uh, is it stands for uh, new develop new education for radical development. Uh, radical in the sense that it's more of a grassroots movement uh, that uh, have a mission to inspire and empower African youth to attain their fullest poten potential. Uh, that entails providing opportunities for the kids uh, back in Africa uh, uh, to excite them to, do, uh, to be more interested in STEM-driven career. So basically what iNerd does, or at least what we've done so far is uh, through a series of uh, uh, Camp, summer camp. Uh, we organize uh, activity-based uh, uh, project with the kids in Africa from different schools, uh, private and public schools. There's a lot of there's a lot into it. I will go into it one by one. Um, private and public schools, fourth and fifth graders. Uh, about I would say six to twelve years old kids, and. We, 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 we mingle them and they go and do activities together as a team, uh, whether it's engineering, uh, science, uh, technology, and uh, mathematics-based activities. How do you make money doing that? What's your revenue model? Not that I, I like what you're doing, but I assume you have to make a living. Right. Um, at this, we're in our third year. Uh, of launching uh, since we launched our uh, first pilot program. Our first year we did a uh, free camp uh, which was mainly uh, crowdfunding uh, based uh, camp and we test the market. Uh, it's more viable. And then the second year we, d we wanted to expand uh, on the same model which is uh, crowdfunding mode. And we got uh, grants from uh, EMC, and we got grants from uh, local sponsors. Uh, so we were able to cater to uh, 150 students um, f in Mali and Senegal. Going third year, what we decided is uh, instead of going full crowdfunding mode, uh, we're going to put in contribution from the parents of the uh, of those children and uh, the contribution we we set a, a quota uh, which was 15 percent we were able to raise 15 percent from uh, the, the the parents of the student uh, but our actual overall um, model is to include both the parents of the kids uh, the government of the country that we uh, we're going to be working with and then uh, the the corporate from uh, uh, from this side of some kind of sponsorship, some kind of sponsorship, yes, and their uh, in individual donors, but uh, in a way, we we're, we're not looking to make money to put in our pocket, but we we're, we're looking to make money to reinvest so that we can uh, grow the uh, we can reach a lot of kids, as many as possible. 